Okay, so this is the first proper test of the e-bike. Um, as you can see, I've got the 48 volt battery here. Um, I've also got a. <coughs> you see that there is a 12 volt battery. It's made up of six cells. Um, two in parallel, three in series. So that's providing power for the um, the coils. And we've got a, an ammeter, which is currently showing, I'm not sure you can see that, 8, 6, um, 60 milliamps, I think that's what that is. No, 8, it's showing 8, 80 milliamps is what's being drawn just by turning on the, the switch. I'll just turn that off. Yeah, I think that my ammeter is a little bit... A little bit off, it's gone down to five, but after I've turned it off, so I think there's a whole lot less than that coming out of it. So I'll just hit the, the zero, hit the switch, and that's probably more like the truth. Uh, 30 milliamps is what's being drawn with the, um, the switch turned on, the ignition switch. Um, so now I'm going to take it for a spin. And we'll see what what the current draw is when I'm actually riding it. And I've also got a speedometer in my bike, in my pocket, my phone. So I'll just reset that. And I guess he had to reset that, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, I'm going to go for a ride on some back roads in my area, and we'll see what the results are. This isn't easy. Here we go. And I can tell immediately that 20 amps is not enough. It's a lot more than 20 amps. I've set it to 100 amps. DC. And zero that. This thing just wants to go. Yeah, but she's a machine.
Wow. Okay, so she's drawn 40 amps um, on full throttle. Um, we've just come about a mile and a half or so. I'll just check the temperature. Temperature of the motor is fairly cool. Temperature of the controller. Totally cool, nothing, no heat there at all. Uh, battery pack. Hard to say because it's covered in foam, but I don't really feel any warmth on it. A little bit of warmth on this side, not on this side. But that might be down to the sun shining on it. Um, so, yeah, it looks like it's all running nice and cool. No problems really at all. Um, the only thing I would say is that with this particular sprocket layout um, I have to put it into first gear which is this large sprocket here it's a 42 tooth I think it is 42 or 40 I think it's 42 tooth um, for the to get the gearing correct for the motor but then when you actually go to pedal <laughs> it's, it's completely rubbish so it's totally unusable as a bicycle but it's good fun as a as a motorbike, electric motorbike. So I'm going to take it on some off road now and see what it's like uh, going up hills and stuff. I'm going to try and uh, use the camcorder, but it's really, really hard to hold, and I've no way of strapping it onto my helmet at the minute. So I just have to bear with me. Yeah, top the jeans in. Okay, so here we go. Do this, not sure it's gonna work. Nah, not gonna work. I'll have to strap it on somewhere. But I'll do that later.
Right guys, it's now a couple of days later after the the first test and um, as you can see I've actually made another stand for the the front wheel to try and keep everything a little bit more stable. Um, I kept slipping off this back one because these these two bars are at a slightly different angle as you can see. Um, it's just whatever way the bike has been made. And I kept slipping off this so just to try and stabilize it a bit. As you can see there's dead tree carcass about here. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit a little bit safer. But anyway, yes, the um, couple of days after the test ride, um, it's when I finished riding on the road um, just to see what um, what it would be like. I took it into a field, a very muddy field, um, which was <laughs> that was a lot of fun, uh, and I went probably better than I expected, but um, I did actually have to start pedaling at some stages to try and keep it keep it going. But it re really went very well. Uh, riding around in this muddy field, it was good fun. But when I got <laughs> When I got out, the bike was completely covered in muck and gutters, as we call it here. Um, I think there's actually still mud. Yeah, there's mud on the keyring. Anyway, mud was everywhere, and I had to hose it all down. And but it's still going. But what I did notice, even after a good twenty minutes of playing in the field, um, I haven't recharged it, and the battery voltage is. 48.6 and it started at 53 point something I think it was um, fully charged so 48.6 is about half half charged so I did about three or four miles on the road and then another I don't know half a mile or a mile riding around a very muddy field and it only used half of the battery power um, so that was with no assistance from me at all. Probably 40-45 minutes or so of riding. So this, the um, I would say with that battery pack, there must be at least at least an hour, an hour's worth of riding on it. And if I was to try and pedal as well and go down, it would, for me to be able to pedal, I would have to change to a much higher gear. Um, because when it's in first gear, I just can't keep up. The um, this is spinning so fast that there's no way that I could pedal to pedal uh, fast enough to keep up with it. So we'd have to go into higher gear to be able to do that. Uh, so good points and bad points about this design. Um, good point is it's very neat. Um, it goes well, uh, kind of fast. Bad points. Um, it would be nice to have this geared slightly better. This the gearing for the for the uh, for that is not really right. It'd be good if I could have gears so that this before it starts going round the the. The sprocket here it'd be better if that was geared down um, I've actually found the connector for uh, three speed I think it's called so I've got the wires all joined so I'm going to try that Let's see if it makes a difference it does slow down the speed slightly but it probably also reduce the torque so it's not the torque monster I was hoping for but having said that I guess if it was a torque monster it would just break everything break the chain um, but it's really, really fast. I was doing 33 miles per hour in first gear, and that's just crazy. Um, if I put it up to second, third, and fourth gears, it probably wouldn't go any faster because the um, you then start running into the torque issues. So 33 miles an hour or thereabouts is about the speed of this bike. Um, I also had a problem with the, I'm going to try and show you here, the uh, chain coming off this sprocket. 
because I think whenever it, it, there really should be um, a wee derailleur to hold that uh, straight on the sprocket. At the moment it's sitting at a, a bit of an angle. So I'll have to see if I can figure out a way of stopping that from happening. If I come down here you might see it, I'm not sure. It's hard to see, I'm staring at this camcorder but it's hard to see if you can see what I'm looking at or talking about. But basically the the chain going down onto that sprocket is at a slight angle. So it came off a couple of times on me. Um, the other thing is, funnily enough, if the back wheel skips going over a bump, um, the power cuts out completely with a horrible noise. So I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, but um, I have to turn the throttle off and then back on again um, to get going again. For some reason, I'm not sure what it is, but but apart from all that, I think it looks great and it goes well and with a bit of tweaking it could be really really good so I'm going to work away on this one and see if we can improve things um, it would be nice to be able to create some sort of a gearbox to drive to drive from here so this drives a gearbox so that this doesn't spin uh, quite as fast as it does but the really good thing is this chain and uh, sprocket had no issues whatsoever. The tensioner seemed to tension it correctly and all of that worked brilliantly so I'm really pleased with that. I really just need to get the gearing going to the back sorted out a bit better. Um, or even better again get a gearbox on here so that I can reduce this, the speed that uh, this chain has to spin at. And then I would be able to pedal it as well in first gear uh, and just ride it like a normal e-bike. So uh, that's where we are at the moment. It's uh, yeah, it's been it's a lot of fun. Um, the weather, unfortunately, at the minute is horrible, so I can't take it out today. But as soon as the weather improves a bit, I'll be out again. Um, I'd like, I would love to get it on some paths and off-road. Obviously, it's, at the moment, it's it's more or less a motorbike, so it's not really legal to ride on the roads, but um, a little bit of testing on the odd back road will not, will not worry too much about that. But like I say, a lot of fun and goes really, really well. And with a little bit of tweaking, it could be even better. Right, well I'll sign off for this one and uh, hopefully next time I'm back um, I'll have a few improvements made but for now it's, it's, pre <laughs> it's pretty good, it's a whole lot better than I ever expected it would be and the battery pack that I spent so much time building and was not sure about at all is so far working out really well. So anyway, that's for me for now. And um, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.